Hey guys, and welcome to the last episode of the mini series. Yeah, so in today's episode, we're going to show you our favorite quick and easy meals on the road. It is our top three simple meals. So we'll cut to that footage now. I'm going to show you one of our top meals on the road. This one we do when we cannot be bothered. We've got no food left in the cupboards and we're feeling lazy. So, loaded potatoes. Basically, grab your potatoes and we chuck them in the Weber is the first step. But before we put them in the Weber, we need to put some oil on them. So we use avocado oil. So basically I just score them, put them in the Weber with some oil and let them cook for about an hour. So I'm just stabbing the potatoes for airflow. So now they're stabbed, I'm going to get my foil. So we've got a wire rack. This sits in the Weber with a bit of foil on it. I only do the foil just so that if it does stick it, it is easier to clean. Um, but yeah, so foil, wire rack, stabbed potatoes, preferably spray oil. But again, that whole budget thing, we've got one oil. I'm just going to drizzle them. So wish me luck. That's a lot of oil. Hope you're feeling oily tonight. That's why sp spray oil is preferable. I told you I'm not a chef. I just know how to cook good food. So, hey, at least this way, it's not going to be sticky on the rack. It's got the oil. So actually, let's say uh, I do that on purpose. So smear the oil over. It's on the bottom as well. Nice and oily. Avocado oil is good for the heart, so really it's a health choice here. All right, let's put this in the Weber for an hour. In today's filling, we're going to do a mince meat filling. Um, sometimes you don't do mince, sometimes you can just do bacon or whatever, like whatever you've got in the fridge. Um, any veggies you've got, silver beets, anything, really anything. So I'm going to defrost this mince and then start cooking that up to get that ready. I'll show you guys what I end up doing when that's defrosted. I'm going to put two carrots. I'm just going to peel and dice them. Um, I don't have any spinach or silver beet or anything, which is a bit of a shame because that would have been nice. But anyway, that's this kind of meal. Spring onion would be good to chuck in as well. But again, we ate all that on our wraps. <laughs> and I know you might be thinking, why are you peeling a carrot like that? I just did it one day and ever since, I can't peel a carrot normally. They look delish, I could eat them like that. Cook the mince up and get that ready. I'm going to chuck that in with this. We put this on everything. Um, if you've seen us cook before, it wouldn't be our meal without some taco spice mix. <laughs> Just the mild one. It's really good when you um, add it in with some garlic and veggies for like savoury mince or any kind of mince. It just gives it that little bit of flavour. Um, especially when you've forgotten to buy half the ingredients for this recipe. <laughs> so mince is defrosted in the pan and cooking until brown. We've got this garlic, um, onion powder as well. Um, again, prefer fresh but haven't got any. And we crossed the border in a couple of days so I don't want to go buy some. Taco mix. Just a simple tin. Oh, and I like to add a glass of water in. Maybe about that much, half a glass. Just for the carrots to soak it up and come a bit soft. So that's just gonna sit um, on a low heat for about 15 minutes. 
um, and just give it a stir every five or so minutes. Really just, when you're looking at it, you'll be able to see if it's starting to stick, give it a stir and go from there. But that's basically our, our filling done. I might add a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, um, but yeah, whatever veggies you've got, just chuck them in. All the mince is cooked and ready, and that's just ready to go whenever we're ready for it. Potatoes just came out after one hour, and I have to show you, they look incredible. <laughs> so now what we do... Alright, so there's my potato. What I'm going to do is flip it on its side. The way you can tell it's ready is that when it starts doing all that wrinkling. All right, and I just slice it straight down the middle. Well, you try and get as close to the middle as possible. Mine's a little bit off. Anyway, so you do that. All so hollowed out. They are actually quite hard to hollow out, to be honest with you. Um, you've got to get the perfect cookedness of the potato. So sometimes if they're too overcooked, they're sloppy. And if they're too undercooked, they're too hard to get out. So you want that perfect consistency. Anyways, this is what we're working with. And we just fill it up with the mince. Still got all this mince left over um, and that was only from a 300 gram pack so yeah really really good that probably do us another meal um, you could put this filling in lots of things like capsicums and put them under the grill you could put it in um, a burrito you could put it in with rice and have savory mince so yeah lots of easy things this mince is very versatile and yeah we use it for lots of different things like that so yeah we'll show you the finished outcome of the potatoes when they're done but they're just gone back into the weather for another 15 20 minutes so there you have it there's the finished product the potato skins with the mince yum so tonight for dinner we're making some hamburgers we have them pre-made already so we do up a big batch and ziplock them individually so when we're ready when we feel like hamburgers they're ready to go Pretty much just mince we use beef mince can use turkey whatever you want um, we chuck a whole heap of veggies vegeta some one egg breadcrumbs uh, carrot parsley zucchini sometimes as well and then just flatten them freeze them and then we cook them straight up on the barbie because it's so hot tonight or normally inside the van but we want to keep the van as cool as we can so we're cooking them outside tonight Put some oil on the barbie plate. A bit too much probably. It's all right. And then just spread the oil around with the patty. Squish them down. Make sure it's nice and hot as well, the plate. Squish it down. Normally use a spatula, but I don't have one tonight. And you just fry them a bit. Crack open a beer. Cheers. Nice and easy. We got some things that were in the freezer, so we'll just put them on there with some lettuce, cheese, if you have tomato, whatever, and nice and easy, some sauce. We'll probably have mayo. So, yeah, nice easy dinner, real quick. They taste delicious. If you want us to do the full recipe, let us know. How I know they're nearly ready to flip is when the cook colour goes halfway up, roughly, that's when I flip the patties. It's a good way to tell if you, when your patties are ready to flip. So this one's nearly good to flip, nearly. And it also depends how you like your patty cooked. But this thicker one isn't quite ready yet. I always just shove the tongs or spatula underneath it to make sure it's not sticking. Now they're ready to flip, so straight under. Give it a flip, then give it another squish down. They're nearly ready to go. The patties are ready. I've just got a plate with some paper towel. Chuck it on. 
Throw this one on as well. Turn the barbie off. And they're the cooked patties. Nothing special. They're not perfect, but they taste bloody good. That's the main thing, isn't it? So now I've brought you inside. Sorry if it's noisy, we got the aircon going. As I said, it's bloody hot. Get your buns, whatever you use them. We're using Thins hamburger buns. We love mayo, it's probably too much. Look at that patty, massive. Takes up the whole roll, that's what I like. We're gonna put some Caf's Kitchen beetroot relish on. It's delicious. Look at that, yum. If you want some relish, hit up um, Caf's Kitchen on Facebook, send her a message, $16 a jar. I don't know how much postage is, but it's Australia wide. Now we'll put some cheese on. We're now to slice cheese, so this will do. Any cheese is better than none. Don't judge my hamburger making skills. <laughs> We're judging. I know Sophie is. I'm gonna put some spring onions on. We're using spring onions because we don't have any proper onions, so. Do the job. Look at that. And then we got some lettuce we'll put on top. Never too much lettuce when you're crossing an SA border tomorrow. We gotta to use it all up. Put the bun on top. Look at that. Beautiful. Another one of our favorite meals that we make on the road is a yellow Thai curry. Now it can be a packet, it can be the paste, however you make your curry. Um, but we already had this one in the cupboard, so I thought we would use this one up uh, before we go and get any other paste or anything. It comes with coconut milk, the curry paste, a spice pack with like the chili and some kind of leaf. Anyways, chuck that in the bin because that's too spicy for me. <laughs> we just use the paste, the coconut milk and we add a coconut cream to make it less spicy and it still has that bite for me anyway so what i've done here i've prepped two carrots sliced them really thin we actually found our mandolin so that was perfect small brown onion diced and sliced and two potatoes into small cubes slow cook this one so this slow cooker was the best purchase we've ever made so if you're doing a lap planning of living on the road or anything like that you need a slow cooker in your life and you won't regret it, trust me. It was the best, what, 30 bucks we've ever spent. <laughs> I'm gonna do um, beef yellow curry tonight. We normally do chicken, but that's frozen and we had bought this today in our grocery shop. So I'm gonna use half a packet of this. So half a packet, two potatoes, one brown onion and two carrots. Some avocado oil. Just a dash to stop it from sticking, but it doesn't matter anyways because we add our liquid. So half a packet of beef, chicken. Um, this packs 500 grams, so 250 grams of anything meat of your choice. Ginger's here now that there's meat out. Not for you, too close. Okay, first things first, my curry paste. I get some garlic and just squeeze about that and some salt. Just give it a mix. So now that's all covered, I add my veggies. So starting with my onion, doesn't really matter what order you do. And my carrot and my potatoes. Like, this isn't a slow cooker recipe, this is just a stove top one, but I just chuck it in here and it turns out fine every time. The coconut milk, my extra tin of coconut cream. We like it saucy. Okay, that's it. Put it on high for four hours and I'll see you then. So I just found some mushrooms. I thought we were done, but I'm gonna chuck half of this in because we love mushrooms. Can never go wrong with a few mushies. See you in four hours. All right, so everything's ready. It's been four hours. I've cooked the rice in the rice machine. Cook rice however you want. The slow cooker's ready. It's boiling away in there. Doesn't look very appealing. <laughs> but anyways, here's the finished result. 
I just love slow cooked meat. It's honestly my favorite. Taste test. Mm. Good. That was good. Perfect. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this mini series. Yeah, we thought it was something nice just to do for you guys to say thanks for reaching a thousand. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it and we'll still see you guys tomorrow though, but it will be our normal Sunday upload vlog. Yeah, so see you tomorrow. See you guys. Bye. Bye.